Hey guys, I wanted to share with you tonight one of our go-to meals in our household. And it's real simple, it's cheap, it's filling, it's delicious. And all you need is a greased pan, you need chicken breast, barbecue potato chips, whatever you like, mayonnaise, salt, pepper, garlic powder, you need two bags, you need a knife, and a cutting board. All right, so basically what we're gonna do, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six whole chicken breasts. I'm gonna cut them in half, that's gonna make 12. So we have 12 servings. I have seven in my household, and um, so that makes a pretty good meal for not a lot of money. So basically, I'm just gonna, I already washed my hands. You take your whole chicken breast out, and then I just cut them in half. And then if they have a little bit of fat on them, you can trim them up. Like this one here has a little bit of fat. So I just kind of trim that off in there. Get that off in there like that. All right guys, next step is mayonnaise. I use these little ice bags that I have, but you can use like a gallon Ziploc baggie, or if there's only like two of you, you could even use like a sandwich baggie. Uh, but I use Hellman's Real Mayonnaise because I just like Hellman's, I think it's the best. So, and most everybody has this already in their refrigerator for sandwiches and stuff. This all depends on how much chicken you have, probably for, for 12, um, chicken breast, uh, well that's cut in half. I'm going to use like maybe a half a jar of the mayonnaise. So I'll go ahead and get this all in here. And I'd say there's probably all a good cup and a half of mayonnaise in there, maybe a little bit more, maybe two cups of that, cup and a half. Okay, get this over here. And then all I do is put your chicken in just do a couple at a time I do like maybe four at a time and then you just coat each chicken breast with the mayonnaise it's a pretty big bag so I'm, I may be able to fit all of these in here to see what happens and then I did cut the excess fat off of the chicken breast. Some had a little bit more. All right. So now, basically, you just cover each chicken breast with the mayonnaise. Get it all nice and coated. Now, our next step barbecue chips down in here. Okay. Give it a little this is the fun part. Smash them. You don't want to go too fine, but you don't want to have big pieces of chips either. fun in the kitchen. Okay, can you see them there? They're not too little, they're not too big, they're just right. All right, so we have a pan and I did put a little bit of vegetable oil on there and that's just going to prevent sticking. I preheated my oven to 375 and I'm just going to reach in here Make sure they're all coated. See how they look? Drop it in. 
give it a shake. Put it on your hand. Now, I have my clean hand here. Dirty hand, clean hand. Take your clean hand, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of garlic. <laughs> 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 little bit of garlic powder because you don't want to touch with your dirty hand because it has the chicken on it so you don't want to get like salmonella so you use your clean hand thank you Ev. a little bit of garlic powder that's it so I'm gonna continue doing my 11 other chicken breasts and then when it comes out of the oven we'll show you the finished product So our chicken was in the oven for about 40 to 45 minutes. While it was baking, I went ahead and made two simple sides, just opened up a can of green beans, cooked 10 minute rice, voila, a wonderful meal for your family. Thanks for watching, enjoy, try this, and let me know how you like it. Bye.